A brilliant visionary, Fred Hamilton combined aggressive oil exploration with groundbreaking technologies to become one of America's truly great oil pioneers. Born in Columbus, Ohio, Frederick C. Hamilton got his start in the oil business after graduating from Babson College in Boston. After learning the business from the ground up, he joined his brother and started what would become Hamilton Oil Corporation. My brother ran the drilling company and I started the little oil company. After commuting from Texas, the Hamiltons decided to relocate to Denver and have never looked back. It's been great because we, it's a great place to live, wonderful city, great people. To position them ahead of the competition, the Hamiltons learned to think outside the box. We were operating up in northern Canada. Nobody operated in the summer. We just drilled when it was frozen in the winter. And my brother again designed a, a, a helicopter transportable drilling rig. It turned out and made a major oil discovery there, and uh, which was a great, that's one of the building blocks for Hamilton. Really established the company and made us uh, get aggressive enough to say we wanted to go tackle the North Sea. And that's a very challenging area, both cost-wise as well as it's a, it was a high-risk area, but particularly challenging in terms of technology. Tremendous breakthrough and a tremendous feather in our cap to be the first to produce oil in the North Sea, A, and then B, to, to have created and built the first production, floating production facility, uh, which, as I say now, is used all over the world. Fred's success isn't limited to the oil business. He continues as the head of the Hamilton Companies, a private equity firm. Fred is also one of Denver's most outstanding community leaders. Currently serving as chairman of the Denver Art Museum, Fred has been a board member for more than 30 years. We've done a lot of things together, and, and uh, we built a new building over there that was is, is quite, a, I think, an incredible building to look at and see and to work in. The Hamilton Building really represents Fred's vision for the Denver Art Museum and then his financial commitment to see it become a reality. I think uh, it's been a very popular gift to the city and to the Denver Art Museum particularly. Fred has also been a longtime trustee of Boy Scouts and the Frederick C. Hamilton Scout Headquarters was opened in June of 2009. Uh, he and his wife Jane are also responsible for two major projects at DU. One is the Hamilton Gymnasium and the other is the Hamilton Recital Hall. We just couldn't have the success in this community and without Fred Hamilton. You really got to put something back. You can't just keep taking it out. Married for more than 50 years, Fred and his wife Jane certainly know how to have fun. We do a lot of shooting, play a lot of golf. He's a good fisherman, good hunter. He isn't worth a damn as a golfer. And uh, if you don't believe me, ask Jane. <laughs> Fred likes a good ribbing and we give him a hard time, uh, those of us who know him well. Since I live close to Fred, I knock on his door and see if I can offer to mow his lawn or shovel the driveway uh, to pick up some extra money. You know, these are difficult economic times. There is a question about all those loud and parties that he throws. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you gotta have humor today. <laughs> I just want him to know we all love him, even in spite of his golf. Denver should be very proud of the Hamilton.